Hello, we're going to talk about the experimental psychology as a subject course, okay? And lesson number one, introduction to experimental psychology. This is a very brief introduction, okay? Uh, minutes of phone use before sleep. How does it affect the hours of sleep? Kapag bago mami tayo na itong um, cellphone, makakapekto ba tayo, makakapekto ba sa oras ng pagtulog natin? Nakatulog ba tayo ng 8 hours, 4 hours while if we're using cellphone? And this variation, natural variation in sleep or sleep pattern, makaka, um, will it affect the hour of sleep? Okay, the, uh, quick diagram since that this one is very brief introduction lang. <clears throat> Goals natin, define what is experimental psychology, how experimental psychology ex, um, originated, define the field of experimental psychology and what psychologists in these fields do. Okay, define theory and hypothesis, distinguishing between the basic and applied research. Okay, for others, um, nasa ibang lesson siya. Okay. Next will be session outline. What is experimental psychology? Difference natin sa experiment. Le reading list. Mm -mm. Alright. What is experimental psychology? Think about this. Kapag sinabing experimental psychology, anong unang yung naisip? Okay. What comes to your mind? What have you heard? Ano ang narinig niyo sa experimental psychology? Okay, what have you heard? What are you expecting to learn? Okay, that's a hang question while we are um, in a brief introduction for this one. Well, experimental psychology is a branch of psychology that studies processes of sensing, perceiving, learning, and thinking about the world through the use of controlled experimentation. Okay, so meaning to say, while we are doing a controlled experiment, experimentation, when we say controlled, we are controlling something, okay? We are applying something, okay? And we are using our senses, how we understand things, okay? We learn also while we are controlling to that thing na gusto natin i-control, okay? That is... Um, what experimental psychology is, okay? It is basically applying experimental method to the study of behavior and its underlying processes. So, meaning to say, um, we are conducting an experiment para mapag-aralan pa ang pag-uugali, okay? That certain behavior and its underlying processes. Okay? Other factors aside from that behavior, Okay? To psychologists, it is not enough to describe behavior. Kasi nga, sa mga psychologists, hindi basa-basa describe mo lang kung ano yung behavior niya. A science, psychology attempts to understand. Okay? Kailangan maintindihan mo. Not just only describing behavior, also, ma-explain mo kung bakit naging ganun yung behavior, ma-predict natin kung ano yung mga future behavior, and ultimately improve the lives of people and the world they live, okay? So, meaning to say, we have to, we, we, we have a certain facts already, okay? And then, pag pinasok natin ito, kailangan ma-predict natin yung future behavior niya. We're going to talk about that one later. And also, um, paano ma-improve yung um, buhay ng isang tao? Psychology does relies on the scientific method, the best approach for, okay, eliminating biases and opinions. Hindi pwede dito na kung ano yung opinion mo once you are um, constructing a research title, na experimental research title, kung ano yung opinion mo sa palagay mo, okay, ganun siya. Iniiwasan na, sa experimental psychology, iniiwasan yung mga ganong bagay, Okay. Reaching a consensus about how the behavior truly operated and correcting errors. Um, Kino-correct natin yung mga facts. Kino-correct natin yung mga errors na yun. That's why we are inserting experimental psychology. Alright? 
Scientific procedure enables psychologists answer questions about human behavior in more valid way. Also, um, we are conducting ng scientific procedures. Okay? Kasi nga, hindi tayo pwede dito na mag-assume lang. Once we are um, constructing a title, hindi pwede na sa palagay ko, feeling ko. Okay? Those are mga things na kailangan, or opinion ko, those things, kailangan natin ma-eliminate. Kasi nga, there's a certain fact already. Okay? And we wanted to prove if this certain fact ay totoo or nakaka -apekto. That is why um, we wanted to know if that certain fact is totoo nga ba. How is it different from other type of things like correlating? It's because in experimental psychology, um, we wanted to change something. Okay? We wanted to change certain things. Yung mga uncertainty. Gusto natin malaman pa yun. We wanted to change um, certain things by uncertainty. Yeah. The, I think that is the best one. Okay. Origin of psychology. Experimental psychology, how is it started? Psychology did not begin a scientific discipline until the late 19th century. Okay, so paano ito nagsimula? Dati kasi, um, isa lang itong philosophy. Okay? And German physiologist Gustav Fyodor Fechner was one of the first scientists to study psychological processes. He got interested with psychological processes. And he published... Uh, a book entitled Element of a Psychophysics. That's why um, kung mapapansin um, paano nagkaroon ng experiments because of physics. Okay? Alam naman natin yung pag sinabing physics, um, it's more on experiment. Right? And pinaghalo ang psychophysics dito. Okay? Nag-apply ang, ang psychophysics dito. The application of psychology and physics. Okay. In 1850, Hermann von Helmholtz developed a theory how people perceive color. Okay. Si Helmholtz um nagdevelop yung theory kung paano nga ba tayo nakapag perceive ng colors. Okay. That is one of the experiment. Then, um he had minister or may pinagwasa in line sa color. Okay. And tinignan niya kung paano ito nakakapekto sa tao. And si William Moon naman, ang uh, kauna-una ng si, kauna na tao na nagtayo ng psychological laboratory in this big German to study conscious experiences. Thus, the discovery of psychology as an independent science is attributed to Wundt because of siyang kononahan niya na nag-establish ng psychological laboratory. And with the establishment of Wundt's laboratory, psychology made a transition from philosophy to science. Okay, yung mga maaring haka-haka lang dati, yung mga opinions, is naging scientific based siya because of that laboratory. Thus, Fechner, Helmholtz, and Wundt are recognized as the founder ng experimental psychology. Number two, we need to identify also what is an experiment. Okay, since that it, this is experimental psychology. And what do you understand by this? When we say experiment, ano ang pagkakaintindi nyo? Pwede ba kayong magbigay ng examples? Okay, so an experiment is a systematic manipulation of some factors in the environment to observe the basic effects of the manipulation of behavior. When we say this, um, ibig sabihin, um, we experiment because we manipulate. Okay, we wanted to manipulate something. All right? Simply put, in the process of scientifically confirming or disconfirming a fact, 
or principle. When we say that, um, gusto natin malaman kung totoo nga ba ang fact na yun. Okay? So, we already have um, information. All we wanted to do is to prove kung totoo nga ba yung information na yun. That is why we conduct an experiment. Okay? That is why also, um, when we say, when we construct a title, dapat um, matitingnan natin kung nakaka-apekto nga ba talaga to. Okay? That's why we need to experiment. We need to conduct an experiment. Kasi, there is a certain fact already and we wanted to prove kung totoo nga ba yun or hindi. A problem is investigated scientifically by manipulating certain things, variables to observe if it will affect other variables while holding other variables constant. Okay? So, um, with this, while we are manipulating, uh, tinitingnan natin kung nakakapekto, dapat um, may nare-remain tayo na constant. What are these constant? Um, other variables constant. Meaning to say, kung naglagay tayo ng experiment sa isang bagay, dapat hindi siya na nahaluan ng iba. Okay? Later, I will discuss kung what are these constant, um, constant variables. So, think about it. Which variables are manipulated? Which variables are observed? Which variables are held constant? Okay? So, which variables are manipulated? Sinasabi dito na ito ang independent variable. Okay? Ito yung minamanipula natin. Kasi ito yung ibinibigay natin sa participants. Which variables are observed? Ito yung dependent variable. So, meaning to say, um, ito yung tinitingnan natin kung paano nakaka-apekto si independent variable, which is manipulated, dun sa dependent variable. Which variables are held constant? These are the extraneous variables. Okay? Or confounding variables such as maaring um, may other factors kung bakit nagbago si dependent variable. Baka hindi dahil dito kay uh, kay independent variable kundi other factors such um, extraneous variable. And we're going to talk about that one later. Also, a psychological experiment has been defined by Zimni. According to Zimni, it's one of the author, the object, objective observation phenomena that are made to occur in strictly controlled situation in which one or more factors are varied and the others are kept constant. Meaning to say, um, we, with this objective observation na ginagawa natin sa isang phenomena, ay nire-remain natin na um, dapat kontrolado natin while we are doing an experiment. Okay? And keep constant yung mga bagay na ayaw nating mahaluan ng other variables. Let's try to understand each of these terms. Um, objective observation is making observation to avoid personal biases. Okay? Meaning objective observation. Okay? May sinusundan tayo para hindi siya maging bias or maging personal view lang ng isang experimental or ng isang tao. It, what do we mean by phenomena? It's an event or occurrence. Okay? Pangyayari, strictly controlled situation, conduct an experiment such that no other factor interfering with the conduct of experiment. Meaning to say, with this one, um, ayaw natin mahaluan yung dependent variable natin. Okay? ng ibang factors aside from independent variable. Kaya nire-remain natin siya na dapat kontrolado natin. Okay? One or more factors are varied. The experimenter varies the independent variable to observe its effect on the dependent variable. Okay? Meaning to say, um, tinitingnan natin kung pa how this independent variable na nakaka-apekto dito sa dependent variable Kapag in-apply ba natin ito, magbabago sa independent variable. Okay? Others are kept constant. Certain variables may not be of interest of experiment, but they can still affect the conduct of experiment, so they are controlled. Okay? 
So, while we are doing an experiment, dapat sisigurado natin na um, hindi ito na haluan ng ibang variables such as extraneous variable, okay? Para malaman natin kung nagbago ba siya dahil sa experiment na in-apply natin or nagbago siya dahil sa um, other variables which is an extraneous variable. Okay. Example with this, the effect of practice on performance. Okay? So, si practice, yung minamanipulate natin. Okay? Tapos, si performance naman, yung sinusukat natin. Other term for independent or other definition is si independent variable ay ito yung minamanipulate. Okay? Si performance naman, at the independent variable na kung saan, siya yung sinusukat natin. Okay? So, malalaman natin sa mga next lesson kung ano ang iba't ibang research design, kung paano natin sukatin, or paano tayo mag-conduct ng dependent variable. Paano natin mag-remain ito, masusukat si dependent variable. Okay? And other variables such noise, time lap, um, prior knowledge, etc. can also affect the performance when they will kept constant. Meaning to say, nagbago ba si performance dahil sa nag-practice? Um, Nag-administer ka ng practice? Okay? With this practice general pa to, ha? With this practice, this is general. Nagbago ba si practice nung in-apply mo siya sa performance or nagbago siya dahil sa mga extraneous variables such as noise, time lapses, or prior knowledge. O kaya ba siya tumaas ang performance niya dahil may prior knowledge siya doon? So, dapat, um, itong mga other variables na to is nire-remain natin siyang constant. Ibig sabihin, hindi dapat natin hinayan na makapasok to para makita natin kung nakaka-apekto ang mga, ang kinakandak nating independent variable kay dependent variable. We use the term experiment, by the way, in our local parlance quite often, and most of the time, what we actually mean is that we're trying something out to find out, okay? If it's true or not. If it would work or not. Meaning to say, for that first bullet, um, tinitingnan natin kung we are conducting an experiment, tinitingnan natin kung ang certain fact ba na meron tayo ay totoo nga ba talaga? That is why we are conducting an experiment kasi gusto natin malaman kung totoo nga ba yun. Okay? We are at giving the independent or the, the intervention, okay, dun sa isang bagay kasi nga gusto natin malaman kung pag in ba natin to, sabi kasi na ni review related literature, kapag ito daw yung mga factors na makakatulong. Kapag ba in natin to is... Um, makakatulong nga ba talaga kapag sa gusto natin mangyari or sa gusto natin mabago? In scientific terms, an experiment is the systematic manipulation of some factors in the environment in order to observe this effect of manipulation on the behavior. It's the process scientifically confirming and discarding the fact or principle. So we, we mentioned earlier, now we already have the certain fact. All we need to do, or all we wanted to do, is to confirm kung totoo nga ba yung fact na yun. How? By conducting an experiment. Okay? Kung hindi siya totoo, um, well, meaning to say that the fact is not effective one. Okay? Hindi siya, hindi natin sasabihin na yung fact na nakuha natin ay totoo. Okay? Kasi in natin siya sa sa isang bagay at walang nangyari. Okay? So, doon, makapag-conclude tayo. Experimental psychology is a branch of psychology that studies the process of sensing, perceiving, learning, thinking about the world through the use of controlled experimentation. Okay? So, hindi lang ito basta um, nagko-correlate tayo like or um, correlational. Um, we wanted to change something and we wanted to um, keep that Manipulation as controlled experimentation. Tapat hindi siya na ng iba. And while doing an experiment, 
we are learning also. Okay, so that is the end for lesson one. It's our brief one. We're going to tackle everything to the next lesson. If you still have questions, you may ask sa synchronous time or asynchronous time. Okay, thank you for listening.